this is online course and it is different from your face-to-face -face lessons. There are a lot of problems for you as a learner and for me as a teacher. As a learner, you cannot feel the lesson. You cannot touch anything. You don't have anything to read or there are no tasks here. As a teacher, I cannot hear your voice. I cannot hear your questions. I don't know, are you watching attentively? Or I cannot evaluate your understanding. I cannot see your face. Are you interested in or not? Should I change my tone or style? There are lots of problems here. Welcome back to the Business English course by the Ministry of Public Education of the Republic of Uzbekistan for school students. And today our topic is problem solving skills. For your information, this is second step lessons. If you miss it first step lessons, please go back and learn from the beginning. Trust in me, you will learn a lot. In this video, we will discuss about the importance of problem solving skills and easy steps to solve the problem by Dr. Richard Frinstra. Generally, problem solving requires person's ability to solve it successfully and quickly. To be a good problem solver, you have to work on your skills like listening, analytical thinking, critical thinking, and your ability to work in a team. Why listening skill? Generally, active listeners are great problem solvers because they can listen around them uh, for gathering the information which is necessary to solve the problem successfully. For being a good problem solver, you have to work on your analytical thinking as well. Analytical thinkers can identify the logical cause of the problem and think about long-term effect and short-term effects. Also, the problem solvers need to be independent thinkers. It is important to be a team member because the best solutions need collaboration. So far, you learned what skills you should improve for being good problem solver. And now, I want to share four easy steps to deal with problems by Dr. Richard Finstra, educational psychologist. The first, identify, develop is the second, and third, execute, and the last one is assess. These four steps can help you to deal with the problem easily and successfully. Again, I have life-related example. The first step is identify. How you can identify the problem? What's the easy way? Take the problem like illness. Imagine you are feeling not good. You feel pain around your body and you have sore in your throat. And your task is identifying what is happening with you. Probably it is the symptoms of cold or flu. In the first step, you have to focus on the symptoms like illness. Your second step is develop. It consists of data collection, cause analysis, and solution planning. In data collection, you have to collect all data about uh, the problem and cause analysis and what happened and why. Who did what? In solution planning, try to find more than two solutions because it can give you chance to choose one of them, the best of them. Let's move the next step. It is execute. How to do. In this part, you have to choose one of your solution and you have to plan how to do it. Who is going to what and when and what standard. You have to plan all carefully. At the end, your last step is assessing. How did it work? If you cannot solve the problem, come back to the second step because you had more than two solutions and you chose the wrong one. Try another one. Again, move to the third step and decide who is going to what, when, and what standard. These are very easy steps to deal with any problem. Moreover, we want to share 10 another easy steps that you can use while you are solving any problem and improve your problem-solving skills. Number 1. Define the problem clearly. 
This is an outwardly simple but vital step. If you don't properly understand the problem, your solutions may be ineffective or fail entirely. To define the problem, you will have to ask questions and look at different angles. For example, is there one problem or actually several? Can you restate the problem in your own words? Number two, state your objective. This is another means to reach the nature of the problem. What is that you want to achieve? What is that you want to discover? Keep in mind that you will have to account for the problem's knows and unknowns and figure out where to find data that will help you reach your goal. Step number three, gather information systematically. Gathering facts helps you to get a clear picture of your problem and goal. Collect data, ask people or experts connected to the problem, look for resources online or in print. Number four, Analyze information. Look for links and relationships in your data can help you better understand your situation. Step number five, generate possible solutions. This is a great time to consider all of your options. You do not need to assess them now. Try brainstorming. Number six, evaluate the solution and choose. Astro analysis helps you make the best possible choice. Choose a solution that best suits your need, seems likely to work, and does not creating further problems. Step number seven, implement a solution. This gives you a chance to see how effective your solution really is. Step number eight, review and evaluate the outcome. Ask yourself if the solution is working or if it needs to be adjusted. Review the problem and your problem-solving process. Step number nine, adjust if necessary. It's okay if your first solution does not work out. Instead, keep in mind that problem-solving works in a circle. It will generate a number of different potential solutions that each must be evaluated. The last step. Step number 10, do mental exercise regularly. Like a muscle in your body, you will need to work on problem-solving skills regularly. This will help improve its strength and functioning over time. In fact, studies show that things like brain games can make you more mentally strong. This is all what I prepared for you today. I hope they will be helpful in the future. Again, I want to recommend practice your skills at school. Try to solve the problems at school and it will be helpful in the future. Thank you for watching this video and being with me. Learn English and bright your future. See you next time.